surface their concerns when the American media Have you been to Springfield? It. Dana, I've been to Springfield probably a hundred times in my life. How about I've recently? I've taken my children since to get ice this. cream at Young's Jersey Dairy. Have you heard recently since have, you've, have you've I gotten been in the these last, calls? Have I been in the last four days? No, no I'm I talking haven't about been in the last four days, but I've since talked you've to gotten a lot of these people calls in Springfield, from the Dana, and they're telling me this stuff is happening. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me uh, on, on these topics? I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers to the questions that you asked, and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to, hear, to be here to talk about policy, but if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please ask a question, and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes. let me answer it. Yes, I, I am, and I. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are fairly good. Today, guys, we're back giving to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Dana Bash and JD Vance clash over business claims about Hatan immigration. So, guys, let's check this video out together. Now is Republican Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance, who represents Ohio in the U.S. Senate. Thank you for being here, sir. Uh, so the mayor of Springfield, Ohio, Rob Rue, said, quote, all these federal politicians that have negatively spun our city, they need to know they're hurting our city. And it was their words that did it. Before Donald Trump talked about eating dogs and cats on a debate stage, it was you, Senator, who first elevated this baseless rumor. These are your constituents. So why are you putting them at risk by continuing to spread claims about Haitian immigrants, despite officials in your state saying that there's no evidence and pleading for you to stop? Well, Dana, first of all, what's putting the residents of Springfield at risk, which was a town completely ignored by the American media until Donald Trump and I started surfacing some of these concerns, is that they can't afford housing, they can't afford health care. The schools have been overwhelmed, the hospitals have been overwhelmed, and they're overwhelmed because Kamala Harris allowed 20,000 Haitian migrants to get dropped into a small Ohio town of about 40,000 people, and it's completely overwhelmed the services. Now, you ask, why have I talked about some of the things that I've been talking about? Let me just say this. Uh, my constituents have brought approximately a dozen separate concerns to me. Ten of them are verifiable and confirmable, and a couple of them I talk about because my constituents are telling me firsthand that they're seeing these things. So I, I have two options, Dana. I could ignore them, which is what the American media has done for years to this community, mm. or I can actually talk about what people are telling me. And of course, many of the things that the media says are completely baseless have since been confirmed. For example, I was told, Dana, that the American me by the American media that it was baseless that migrants were capturing the geese from the local park pond and eating them. And yet there are 911 calls from well before this ever became a viral sensation of people complaining about that exact thing happening. So my attitude is listen to my constituents. Sometimes they're going to say things that people don't like, but they're saying things that people don't like because their town has been overwhelmed. And it's my okay. job to try to fight for them and to protect them. Kamala Harris opened the border, and now these people are suffering. That's what I'm focused on, Dana. Senator, I have to go through several things that you just said. Uh, first of all, the Clark County Sheriff and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources reviewed 11 months of 911 calls. They only identified two instances of people alleging Haitians were taking geese out of parks. They found zero evidence to substantiate those claims. Uh, also, other evidence that you have talked about, even you've retweeted alleged, alleged evidence, are unsourced social media videos from a different city, apparently no connection to Haitians. And this is from a conservative activist who offered a $5,000 reward for such things. And then going just back to the schools and the hospitals and, the, and, and so forth being overwhelmed, nobody is disputing that the, that the town of Springfield, Ohio, needs help. But you're not just a bystander. You're the senator from Ohio. So instead of saying things that are, are wrong and actually causing the hospitals, the schools, the government buildings to be evacuated because of bomb threats, because of the cats and dogs uh, thing, why not actually be constructive in helping to better integrate them into the community? Because there are a lot of employers there who say that the Haitian workers are helping fill jobs that they need desperately filled. 
Dana, first of all, let me just respond to, to a couple of things that you said. But I want to start with something you said, which I think is frankly disgusting and is more <laughs> appropriate for a Democratic propagandist True. than it is for an American journalist. There is nothing that I have said that has led to threats against these hospitals. These hospitals, the bomb threats and so forth, it's disgusting. The violence is disgusting. We condemn it. We condemn all violence Senator, and this happened of after you and but President say, Trump no, 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 were, Dana, on no, the, Dana, were on the debate say, stage, said Dana, that no, cats and dogs you were asked, being you, eaten. You asked a question, Dana, and, and I'm going to go ahead and answer it. What after we that, said, they were threatened. What we have said is that this town has suffered terribly under the, pro, under the policies of Kamala Harris. Now, mm -hmm. you just accused accused me of inciting violence against the community when all that I've done is surface the complaints of my constituents, mm. people who are suffering because of Kamala Harris's policies. Are we not allowed to talk about these problems because some psychopaths are threatening violence? We can condemn the violence on the one hand, but also talk about the terrible consequences of Kamala Harris's open border on the other hand. Now, let me just fact check a couple of other things that you said, Dana, because it's important. You said that all of these migrants are in the country legally. They are in the country through what's called temporary protective status. Right. That is when Kamala Harris waved a magic amnesty wand taking people and giving them legal status. That is not a that is not to say that they're here legally. That is a terrible indictment of her amnesty policies that have further opened the but border not, and further but it's caused not illegal. terrible you might, migration you into might this be, country. You might not agree with the policy, and obviously you don't, which is totally fair and legitimate. There are policy different disagreements all the time. But the fact is, it, it, it is the law because uh, no, President Dana, Biden the point and is, Vice Dana, President Harris the, are, but I, but I don't want to get I don't want to frankly go down uh, uh, this conversation about no, no, about no, policy Dana, because I, I, because I, you, no. you, you you made a point you don't I I, I agree you don't want to talk about policy no Dana, what I want to talk about, about what I want to talk about instead of about the fact Senator that it was Harris, your distraction Dana, granted amnesty you were the one who started level. talking about eating dogs and cats level. You were the one who Dana, brought this my up. The president the said it to 60 about million dog and people. Cats, and I talked about it because you were ignoring this community. Mm. My constituents talked about Have it. Have you been it is to my Springfield? my responsibility to surface their concerns when the American media Have you been to Springfield? It. Dana, I've been to Springfield probably a hundred times in my life. How about I've taken recently? I've my children since to get ice this? cream at Young's Jersey Dairy. Have you heard recently since have, you've, have you've I gotten been in the these last, calls? Have I been in the last four days? No, no I'm I talking haven't about been in the last four days, but I've since talked you've to a lot of these people calls in Springfield, from the Dana, and they're telling me this stuff is happening. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me uh, on, on these topics. I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers mm. to the questions that you asked and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to hear, to be here to talk about policy, but if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please ask a question and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes. let me answer it. Yes, nice. I, I <laughs> am. And I think that, uh, if, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls were making unsubstantiated claims that had racist undertones about uh, people eating dogs and cats. I would, and they didn't answer the questions about that, then I would have similar uh, interactions with them. As you know, I, I am very grateful that you come on the show, as I am for other Republicans. But this is something that I, you're hearing from constituents. I did a lot of reporting. I talked to people in Ohio over the weekend, and they're really worried about these claims. The policies, yes, I am, I am agreeing with you that what I heard is that there is concern that these migrants, there's a lot of them, and the integration isn't being done fast enough and well enough. And that's a totally legitimate conversation. But there are other conversations that are happening. Like, I love how Jennifer handled her. Is this the best way to, to handle any silly, or misjudged journalists, people who want to twist your words against you and make, if, and make you feel like you are the bad guy. That's exactly what they're trying to do to J.D. Vance. And he's a very, very clever man. He's someone who knows exactly what you're planning <laughs> once you are speaking out and he uses your words against you. Back! Because he, picks, he picked her words one after the other. He noticed she was trying to ridicule him and demean him. I make him look like he's saying the words that people are eating dogs and pets. 
and he's the reason why schools and hospitals have been shut down in Ohio. In Ohio. Like, it's very, very funny how this journalist played her way. I was very shocked while listening to her. I was like, are you serious? Are you speaking to J.D. Vance like that? And J.D. Vance is someone who is very, very attentive. He kept quiet until she was done. And he answered her properly. And she was being biased because when Kamala Harris, when she was asking Kamala Harris about her own questions, she gave them points to pick. Now, because he's the Republican, is J.D. Vance, She's putting words in his mouth so that she can trap him. She's being biased and she knows she's being biased. And J.D. Vance is someone who has made his research. And his community, have, they have prompted him. He, has, he, has, he was being prompted earlier before coming to this interview. He knows how the entire, the entire speech is going to turn out to be. And he was ready to face her on an instant. I l like Jedi Vance is really really clever and this interview right here like it was beautiful watching this <laughs> I love how Jedi Vance handled that he's, he's suitable to be the vice president because there's someone who is very very attentive and picks out errors like he spots them out and handles them on an instant he doesn't allow it slide out like he's he's a very clever man for me if you ask me he's a very clever man and this journalist right here she was being biased are they eating pets in Hawaii? Probably. Jennifer said he's not the one. Who said it? It's, it's as simple. But she's trying to pin it on him. I love how Jennifer handled her. This was beautiful to watch. Comment down below. Think about this video. Give also a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.